although we were owned by Falcon Ridge, we'd always worked at arm's length uh, because we provide services to the to the mining community at large. And even we did work for other nickel mining companies who, who might have been seen to be in competition with Falcon Ridge. They were quite happy for us to work uh, for them. So it was a very unique relationship for a, for a company that was, what was owned by a mining company that allowed us to, to work in that way. So changing to a private company never changed that client base in any way. We, we continued to work with them. Falcon Bridge, certainly in those initial days, was a, was a major client of ours, but uh, certainly not our only client. They maybe gave us 10 or 15% of our business. So we worked mostly for Canadian companies uh, in those early years. One of the reasons why we, we expanded and we did expand very rapidly was that uh, in the in mid 1990s there was the sentiment towards mining was not good in Canada. Um, there were I think the government in BC was was very anti mining and even Ontario was not very favourable. So up until then a lot of our business had been coming from Canadian companies and we were we felt vulnerable. Uh, Canadian mining companies were were moving overseas. They were they still kept their head office in Toronto or Vancouver, but they were starting to spend money overseas in exploration. And we felt that if we were to remain viable as, as a private company, we needed to follow them. So, uh, in the only six or seven years that we were a private company, we grew very rapidly uh, geographically. We we started up laboratories uh, in all the major mining companies of the world. Um, and that, that was, was Larry's responsibility mostly. I mean, we, we had a shared responsibility in, in that uh, sort of strategic growth area. My responsibility was more on the operations side. So he was the chief executive officer and he went out there and grew the company very rapidly and gave me the responsibility of running all those acquisitions and integrating them into our, and our global network. Uh, so we, we started up in quite short order laboratories in, in Santiago and Chile, Johannesburg, South Africa, Perth, Australia, uh, Belo Horizonte in Brazil, and we started a small laboratory in Lima, Peru. So just in those four or five years, it was, it was crazy busy, it was exciting. Very impressive. But also quite scary.